back, CD Boy here, and welcome back to Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition. Now, uh, we are going to go and speak to Modern Solus, because in the last episode, we... Oh, well, there we go, we're sat right here with Modern Solus. There you go, Modern. We, we, we got this guy from Omega. Shepard, how can I help? I want to talk about you. Have you got a minute to talk? Of course. Plague on Omega dealt with plenty of time to analyze collector intelligence. Okay, oh, cool. Impressive laboratory setup. Missed working for operations with a budget. AI in particular, very helpful. Best setup I've seen since work with special tasks group. All right, good stuff. Uh, any word from your assistant, Daniel? Is your assistant Daniel settling in all right? Quite well. Safe and secure. Neighborhood mostly quiet with plague gone. All Left right. him the security mechs just in case. Can't be too careful. Also tired of mechs. Noisy. Never used them in STG. Okay, oh. uh, what, what about... What was happening in the, special, in the special tasks group? You said you were in the special tasks group. What kind of research were you doing? Not simply research. Several recon missions. Covert, high risk, served under young captain named Kirihi. Studied really? Krogan genophage, took water, tissue samples from Krogan colonies. Well, yeah, I met Kirihi. I worked with an SDG captain named Kirihi. His team helped me destroy Saren's cloning facility on Vermeer. Heard Kirihi died on Vermeer. Not he enough did. equipment for operation. Still managed to take down facility. Good captain. Dedicated. Yeah. Bit of a cloaca, though. Loved his speeches. Hold the line. Personally prefer to get job done and go home. No, I like his speeches. Bravado, jargon, chest pounding. Uh, no offense. Uh, it's all right. Reason for studies. Uh, what, uh, what, what is it you're studying? Why would STG study the genophage? Oh, the genophage, sure. Krogan rebellion's bloody, dangerous, nearly as bad as Rachni attacks. Really? All species evolve, adapt, mutate. If genophage weakens, need to be prepared. Okay, oh, and uh, what, what are you preparing to do? What was the STG preparing to do? Military schematics for likely Krogan population growth, political scenarios for attack points. Genophage reduced Krogan numbers. Species aggression unchecked, population explosion would be disastrous. STG helped check Krogan rebellions. Needed to be ready to do the same. Simple recon, nothing to worry about. Mm, okay. And what exactly is the genophage? What can you tell me about the genophage? Bioweapon designed by Solarian science team. Deployed by Turians against Krogans to end Krogan rebellions more than a thousand years ago. Affects every cell of Krogan body. Commonly and incorrectly considered a sterility plague. Actually adjusts viable fertility rates to compensate for a high Krogan birth rate. Stabilizes to pre-industrial population growth levels. Pre-industrial? Okay, do So they're not dying. So, th so, so they're not dying. It's just, uh... Hmm. Okay. It adjusts the viable fertility, so it can adjust back, so to speak. It, it can theoretically adjust back in times of, what, an extinction crisis? Nice talking with you, Morden. I should get back to work. Need to study. So much data. Here, if you need me. Okie doke. Alright, but is there anything else Shepard, I can... How can I help? Uh, lab setup. How are you enjoying the setup? Is the lab working well for you? Quite satisfactory. Found a few surveillance bugs. Destroyed most of them. Returned expensive one to Miranda. Nothing unexpected. Just need more okay. samples, more collector data, tissue samples, anything you can get, I can use. Find new tech. All right, good stuff. Uh, squad status. Are there any medical concerns I should be aware of on the team? Cerberus personnel in excellent condition. No squad concerns to report. Always some matters, but nothing affecting immediate mission. Okay, no. All right, upgrades. What can you help me with? Any ideas on other ways to prepare for the collectors? Ideas, yes. Expensive, but possibly valuable. Can show you. Do it. Let's go. Oh, yes, about research. Uh, research new upgrades to dramatically improve the power of your squad members, weapons, and ships. Sorry about the crackling. I'm going to have to try and deal with that shortly. Uh, discover research projects by acquiring new upgrades. For example, if you find an assault rifle upgrade, your scientists can study it. And they may discover a research project to further improve assault rifles. When you purchase a research project, you must pay the specified amount of rare resources. You then gain the upgrade described in the research project, and the upgrade moves to the upgrade section of the research terminal. Uh, you purchase a research project, and you pay the... Yep. Gain the upgrade described in the research project and the upgrade moves to the upgrade section. Okay. Weapon upgrades. Let's have a look. Submachine gun damage. Uh, uh, weapon upgrade plus 20... Uh, uh, squad bonus plus 20% uh, submachine gun damage. Upgrades to submachine guns of your entire, squ uh, entire squad. Uh, excuse me. This, this upgrade improves a weapon's mass, field, a mass effect field generator, increasing the velocity of each slug fired. Okay, dope. Uh, yep. Yeah. Nice. Fully upgrade a weapon. Fully upgraded. Access the research terminal in the lab for more information. Research unlocked. Modern Omnitool. Uh, okay, dope. Microfield Pulsar. Okay, dope. Uh, 
squad. Okay. Shepard. Upgrades. Any ideas Let's go. Right. Yes. Yes. Yep. Uh, weapon upgrades. SMG shield piercing. Yeah, I've not fully upgraded. I don't know what you mean, mate. Uh, weapon upgrades. Squad bonus plus 50% submachine gun damage against shields and biotic barriers. Upgrades SMGs for your entire squad. A module in the Mass Effect field generator creates a phasic envelope around each slug before it is fired at a, ta at a target. This disrupts any Mass Effect field protecting the target, resulting in superior penetration. Yeah, mate. Let's do it. Fully upgrade a weapon. Oh, I've got to fully upgrade yeah. weapons okay, several times, but I've clearly not fully upgraded it if, yes. if there's it's more best. upgrades to get. Uh, platinum requires one more uh, sniper damage upgrade, uh, submachine gun damage upgrade. Uh, to unlock, okay. Armor upgrades, okay, so I need, to, I, need, I need a sniper upgrade and I need a submachine gun upgrade, okay, dope. I've got medigel capacity. Uh, Medigel upgrade. Medigel capacity increased by one. All modern combat armor incorporates a first aid interface. Microprocessors in this interface monitor vital functions, uh, monitor vital functions, and release small localized doses of medigel to accelerate the healing process. Manually timed heavy doses of uh, medigel can be released in response to major trauma. However, the efficiency of, the efficiency of this is dependent on proprietary medical software that cannot be copied and is prohibitively, prohibitively, prohibitively expensive. Cerberus has developed its own software and is actively working to improve its efficiency. Research. Hang sure. on. Upgrades. Let's get some more. Get some more. Get some more. Get some more. Weapon upgrades. No. Armor upgrades. Medigel capacity. Uh, that's the same. Uh, medigel capacity increased by two. Yep. Shepard. I, I would imagine that the upgrades that I'm yes. getting are the total, the total boost. Like they're not added, like for example, it's not. I didn't get plus one, then plus two. It just it just got upgraded from plus one to plus two. You know, I, I assume that's making sense. Omni tool upgrade, multi core amplifier, uh, squad bonus plus ten percent tech power damage. Uh, standard Omni tools are calibrated with a wide neural input tolerance range so that they can so that they can be used effectively by any race. By tuning the inputs of the Omni tool to match the specific neural patterns of the user, responsiveness and power can be greatly increased. Once tuned in this manner, the Omni tool is almost unusable by anyone but the wearer, and it must be constantly recalibrated to subtle neural shifts. Okie doke. Uh, element zero. Yep. Let's get you. We started off with 900. Uh, easy. Yes. Yes. Oh, God damn. All right. Uh, no, 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 we want you. Trauma module. Medical upgrade. U Unity heals your squad to full health. A standard first aid interface can stabilize a, ba sta stabilize a badly wounded soldier, preventing death from all but the most serious wounds. The base technology, however, is ineffective and conscious soldiers who are currently taking fire, as each pain signal resets the process. A trauma module separates the medigel administration into two layers, active and passive. The active layer constantly distributes uh, small amounts of medigel to fresh wound sites. The passive layer handles major develop, uh, deployments to incapacitating wounds. When large amounts of medigel are deployed to incapacitated squad members, fighting members are also healed. Buy it. Yeah, mate. I see, are those just used now? now or Any ideas on other ways? Are those just in use and like, active, or what? Uh... The Normandy represents the cutting edge of Cerberus fleet technology, but further improvements are possible, and could assist you in succeeding in missions. Discover possible enhancements by talking to your crew. Uh, okay, I've got to speak to Garrus about that. Prototypes. We've got Cerberus Assault Armor. Uh, Cerberus Assault Armor is designed for shock troops, who are expected to turn the tide of battle against creatures or forces that would decimate normal soldiers. The troops demanded three things in its design. Shields and armor thick enough to last against a superior foe, and a rechargeable pack to extend the heavy weapon power cell. The only drawback of the armor is its weight, which the troops carry as a point of pride. They have a saying, out of shape, out of shape going in, in shape coming out. That is boring, mate, but sure. Increases heavy weapon attack, uh, ammo capacity by plus 10%. Increase shield and health by 10%. Yeah, mate. You know, I really wish I didn't have to keep going into this menu every time. Like, I don't know who designed that, but god damn it. New weapon, the Collector's Assault Rifle. The Collector's main weapon uses the same principles as a human assault rifle, but its organic components clearly set it apart. Its power source seems to be an internal organ with biotic cap uh, capacitance. Its ammunition resembles pellets of metallic enamel that strip uh, that strip shreds uh, shields off enemies with deadly efficiency. All right, let's research it. There we go. Shepard, Come on, let's go. Uh, we've Excuse got uh, Collector Chitin Armor. Uh, Cerberus adapted this suit for you out of salvaged collector technology. Where did we get that? The collector's chitinous armor is flexible and even tougher than ballistic fibers. Its organic construction allows it to be self-healing, and the muscle-like tissue that assists movement ensures it is comfortable to wear despite its weight. Regeneration bonus. There we go. Let's go. Uh, I don't know if I'll be wearing that to be honest, but... Uh, prototypes. Uh, heavy weapon ammo. Plus, uh, we want that. Yep. 
Uh, micro fusion array, heavy weapon upgrade plus 15% heavy weapon ammo capacity. The power cell technology used by heavy weapons is fairly old, but can be improved by rebuilding the core with more modern components. These improvements allow standard power cells to yield more shots per power cell and allow for more total shots to be fired. Let's go. Uh, let's go. How can I help? Any ideas? Yeah, mate. Let's go. Get some more. Inferno armor. New armor built specifically by uh, built specifically for Cerberus field officers. The Inferno armor has a VI dedicated to recognizing signs of stress and medical trauma. This application helps assess soldiers, but can be useful in any high-risk situations. The Inferno's microframe com computer allow also manages biotic amp and omnitool power. And micro servos help the wearer's movements to counteract the armor's weight. Negotiation bonus plus 10%. Tech and biotic power damage plus 10%. Storm uh, storm speed plus 10%. Okay, no deal. I'll buy it, because we will. We're going to be so, absolutely fully prepared for everything. Yeah, yes. Yes. Uh, let's go. Uh, we've got the... Oh yeah, we're still on prototypes. The M-22 Eviscerator Shotgun. New weapon. The Liebershaft 2118 shotgun, or eviscerator, is of human civilian design and has a unique ammunition generator. Where most modern firearms shave off chips or pellets from an ammunition block, the M22 shaves off serrated metal wedges designed to fly aerodynamically. This dramatically improves its armor-piercing capabilities, and its tight grouping helps wound ballistics at longer ranges than standard shotguns. Uh, or wound ballistic, I don't know. This design also violates several intergalactic weapons, uh, weapons treaties, so the M22 is not distributed to, uh, to militaries. Alright, let's research it. We'll try it out. We'll see what happens so, with it. How can I we ideas? have yes. prototypes. The ML-77 Missile Launcher. New heavy weapon. Rapid fire missile launcher with seeking projectiles. Effective against armor, shields, and biotic barriers. Missile launchers are surfacing with increasing frequency among the Terminus system's mercenary bands. But their origin is unknown. Each projectile features a friend or foe recognition system, ensuring it will find a hostile target, though not necessarily the one in the crosshairs. In urban situations, it is useful for taking out snipers and other entrenched enemies, so it is popular with the Blue Sun's mercenary band. It is nearly impossible to duplicate, as it uses Fabrication Rights Management FRM technology. Okie deal. Alright. Shepard, how can I help? Any uh, ideas on yep, so we've got one more. Modern Omnitool, squad member upgrade. Modern gets plus 20% tech power damage. Modern built his own Omnitool and can make significant upgrades given the proper materials. Let's buy it, there we go. Uh, we should not have anything sorry. else. I've done Correct. What I Focusing on studying collector tech oh, now. there we go. Uh, Alright, there you go, good stuff. I'll let you work. We'll be here if you need me. Oh, you know, good stuff we've got. That's going to take ages. I'm going to start speaking to the crew about getting upgrades to the Normandy. Jacob. Commander, can I help you with something? All right, Normandy upgrades. What do you think? Any thoughts on how to prepare against the Collectors? They spec this ship to the original Normandy, but you were there. The Collectors cut her like butter. This armor just isn't top of the line anymore. All People right. We'll die if we don't upgrade. Yeah. Alliance had some new toys in secret dev before I left try and pull a few favors. Alright, let's do it. We've got weapon upgrades. Uh, yeah, we can't do... Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, mate, we've got ship enhancements. Uh, Solaris armor tech. Normandy armor upgrade. The Asari made Solaris armor upgrade is attached to the ship's superstructure. This will help the ship hold together if hit by a blast powerful enough to penetrate its shields. Well, we want shields more powerful than that, but this armor should help us out a nice amount. There you go. We're going to prepare for that collector ship that uh, attacked us before, because, oh boy, we're going to be ready. Hell yeah. Right. Uh, I, I don't think Morden has anything to say about upgrading the ship. I think he just does the upgrades. I don't think he comes up with anything. But what we will do is, I assume that means that we're not going to get any upgrades from Kasumi or Zaid. You don't have any upgrades, do you, Kelly? Morden's psych profile warned of hyper behavior, but he is like a hamster on coffee. Mm. He's going to be a very productive member of the team. He already is. Anyway, he's already it's, it's sorted, it's sorted, out, sorted us out for now. Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Anything else, Commander? Okay, don't. Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for I you. Oh, no, okay, yeah, no, I just realized she probably doesn't Commander, have anything to say. received a new message at your private terminal. Why, thank you, Kelly. Whoa. Uh, yeah, so these are all the upgrades that we, that we have. That's fine. Unread messages. Uh, you're not dead from Emily, 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 from Emily Wong. You're alive? How come you broke whatever cover you've been under for two years but didn't offer an exclusive interview to your favorite reporter? Whenever you come up for air and are ready to talk, let me know, Emily Wong. All right, let's do it. Take care of, uh, from Nala Butler. 
Commander she uh, take care of Garrus, Commander Shepard. My husband was one of the men serving on Garrus's team. I don't know how much Garrus talked to you about what happened. I don't know the specifics myself. Only that my husband died in a trap set by those bastard gangs. I know Garrus blames himself. He took every shot fired at his squad as a failure on his part, and it was clear when he sent me the message about my husband that he thinks it was his fault. Also, he notified the families. Go on, Garrus. My husband would never have wanted that. He was proud of the work he did on Garrus' squad. He was, he was taking back Omega from the gangs. He died fighting with honor. I miss him. God, I'd give anything to give him back. To get him back. Uh, but whatever happened there wasn't Garrus' fault. You're his commander now. Please, if you can, help him stop blaming himself. And please don't tell him that I sent you this. Thank you, Nala Butler. I will do no such thing, and I will do everything. Don't you worry. And by no such thing, I mean I will not, I will not tell him. I will not tell him. But he will not kill Sidonis. I will absolutely make sure of that. Thank you, Nala Butler, and I am sorry for your husband. Stop my TV from turning itself off. Healing of your facial scars. Can my microphone please stop for 30 seconds? From Chief... It's not stopped, but oh well. From Chief Medical Officer Chakras. Medical... Oh. Oh, that, that's just formal. Okay, that's just formal. Alright. From Chief Medical Officer Chakras. Commander, I've done further investigation regarding your facial scarring, and the old adage of mind over matter holds true. Negative attitudes and aggressive acts create adverse reactions with your cybernetic implants. Implants. Uh, implants. While peaceful thoughts and compassionate actions promote healing, if you maintain a positive outlook, I believe your facial scarring will heal on its own. Otherwise, there is surgical equipment we could use to insulate your cybernetic implants and accelerate your healing regardless of your mental outlook. Um, yeah, so our... We've got still got a couple of facial scars going if we look closely there. You can kind of see it there, like... Um, you can kind of see it there, like, uh, at, at that point. Uh, those are like the orange uh, scars that we've got because of the, the surgical... The surgery that was done to us. But it's all pretty much cleared away now because we're just going more or less full Paragon. We're not going, we're not going like full Paragon because Paragon. Basically, heard about Ferris Fields. Any news on your brother? He's gone. They're all gone. But we'll get them back. Shepard and Lawson are on it. And we'll get your brother back and make sure the collectors pay for taking him. Yeah, mate. No, you worry. Uh. Uh, Joker, we've got shot control, yep. Uh, yeah, so, like, we're not, I'm not just picking all the Paragon options, because, I mean, like, when we get the red and blue options... Trimming compensators, decimal one, two. Okay, nope. Well, like, when we get the red and blue Paragon options, I'm going to be picking, the like, the, the Paragon options, because not only is my Paragon stop, start the highest and it's the most likely to succeed, but... Can like, a mirror up here, you know, so I can see when someone is standing behind me? No. Um, but... So yeah, I'll, I'll pick the Paragon options then, but in terms of like the general dialogue, I'm not just going to pick the top option because it's Paragon. I'm going to pick the, whichever Take option. Hollow, it'll last longer. I'm going to... You alright? Commander. I'll, I'll, t I'll, like, I'll, 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 I'll pick whichever option um, is what sounds, sounds right to say. Like, I'm not just going... Like, it tends, it tends to be the Paragon option because the Paragon options are usually the, le the, the least confrontational. Um, but we're not just doing like a full paragon for the sake of 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 getting a full paragon ending. How are things in the cockpit? I assume everything is going well up here. It was until the thing started questioning my every move. It won't let anything slide. You were deliberately falsifying maintenance reports, Mr. Moreau. Not falsifying, tweaking. I always round up on task times. It makes us look good when we come in under. Uh, don't do that. Edie has a valid concern, Joker. Knock it off. What? Come on! No, no padding. Understood? What's the point of being a corporate ship if you can't inflate your results? The point is that we're too good for that. That's it for now. See you, Commander. Alright. Um... Right, anyway. Kasiwi, do you have anything to say? There you are. Oh, hi. One of the girls' navigation thinks she might be pregnant. Even aboard a Cerberus vessel, life finds a way. Navigation? Okay, no, I know I was speaking to Garrish, but I'll do it in a second. I have to say, that Jacob, mm -hmm. he seems pretty intense. I wonder if he likes Japanese girls with a pension for kleptomania. You Japanese? Okay. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm, Kasumi, it's you. I'm pretty sure he'll go for you. Joker and Edie are like an old married couple. Yep. I keep expecting to walk in on them bickering about the temperature in the cockpit. 
Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. That's probably that's probably what's up next. Cause Amy's got a point. Come back later. Yeah. I'm sure I'll have more to talk about. Let's go. Uh, right now, let's actually speak to. Well, I mean, I mean, Miranda's right here. We might as well. Nope. Another colony's gone missing. Ferris Fields, I heard. That's not far from New Canton. Did your family get back to Earth? Not yet. My mother-in-law's given us grief. Operative Lawson assures me the transport team will physically drag them away if need be. Okay, yeah, don't worry, we'll get them away from New Canton and we'll sort these collectors get we'll sort these collector guys out because god damn it, they blew up the first ship and we're gonna blow up the we're gonna blow up this one. Um Because they will not steal any colonists. Rupert put the new supplies to good use. Always. Um they will not uh steal colonists from anywhere in the galaxy unimpeded because god damn it challenge accepted main battery garrus shepherd need me for something i know you're gonna say the thing garrus but i'll talk to you have you got a minute can it wait for a bit i'm in the middle of some calibrations no garrus no you said the thing god damn it all right well you you sort those calibrations out mate I need you to calibrate something for me. Keep that in context. I'm talking about the Normandy here. Uh, can you can you calibrate, please? Have you got any upgrade ideas for the Normandy's weapon systems? A few, yeah. Here, take a look. There you go. We got ship enhancements. We got Thanix cannon. Uh, oh yes, part of Th the Thanix cannon, the particle cannon. Which one is it? Uh, Normandy weapon. I thought this was something from Mass Effect 3. I didn't realize that we put it on uh, this thing. Okay, nope. Uh, Normandy weapon upgrade. The Turian designed Thanix magnetic hydro ma hydronamic cannon is now installed on the Normandy. This cannon is powerful enough to destroy a collector ship with repeated hits. Oh yes, we're gonna want that thing. Hell yeah, we've got the Thanix cannon sorted. She's in here, is she not? Miranda's office, yes she is. Here we go. Commander, what can I do for you? Can we talk? You have a minute, Miranda? There's a lot to do, Shepard. Okay, do. Maybe another time. Do you have any uh, ideas about upgrading the Normandy? Have you got any ideas for potential upgrades we could make? A few ideas, yeah. Yeah, take a look. All right, we've got ship enhancements. Uh, I don't like that, like, Jacob seems to be the only character that has some input on the ship's like, upgrades, like how it was before and what we could do to upgrade it. Everybody else just has, like, stock dialogue, like, yeah, I've got a few ideas, take a look. Whereas um, Jacob has, like, he, you know, he, he has an input on what happened last time and, you know, uh, He's like, you know, a collective ship will... Uh, he, he has specific input on the upgrade that he's providing, you know? He's providing armor, so he talks about how the ship got decimated last time and that we're not top of the line, that we need an upgrade. Uh, whereas everybody else just has stock dialogue, and I don't like that. Argus Scanner Array. Normandy Mineral Scanner... Oh, uh, we've got Advanced Mineral Scanner. Okay, uh, Normandy Mineral Scanner Upgrade. The the Android groups... The A-Androids... The A-Android... The a -Android, the Android Group's proprietary uh, the a Android Group's proprietary Argus Planet Scan technology has been integrated into the ship's systems. This will greatly speed up the planet scanning process. Hell yeah, let's do it. Uh, all right, let's go. Uh, who else can we speak to? We could probably speak to Zaid. He might have some some comments to make, but I don't know. Uh, where's he? Where where is he? Oh no, Zaid's in the engineering level, isn't he? Gunners put some crazy tech into the main guns. It's almost doubled their power draw. But they seem pretty wicked. Indeed. Don't worry. A few tweaks to the forward capacitors, and the balance is back in line. Good to know. Anything I can help what with? What can we do for you, Commander? Uh, don't know. Uh, uh, need anything? Are you set up okay down here? Outside of those T6 FBA couplings yep. we mentioned. Yep. Stuff. You could find them in the Anything Omega else? Yep. Gary, that's fine. Well don't worry. We'll get those. We'll get those couplings. Don't you worry. Anything can I get anything from you? What's this area of the ship? This is main oh, yep, there you go. We've read, we've read that. Okay, right, let's speak to Zaid, who should be over here to the right. Starboard cargo. Zaid. This mission takes me back. Yeah, mate. Get a knife stuck in the right way, and you can pull that plate right off a of Krogan's head. Cool. It's the best way to get a Krogan to talk. The threat of it drives him mad. Okay, do Anything else? Me and a buddy were hired to take out this one guy, Matthias, I think. Hell, I forget. Turns out it was a trap. We got jumped by a hit squad. Two Batarians, a Krogan, and a Hannah. 
damn jellyfish nearly choked me to death. Okie doke. Wore a neck brace for weeks to cover that up. Haven't underestimated a hand us since. Alright. I should let you go. Talk more later, Shepard. Alright. I should let yeah, you go. Yeah, that's fine. Alright. Anything else to say about this stuff? Oh, yeah. That's a model of the very. Uh, is that just going to be the same as Polo? Hell of a ship. I let him miss yeah, it looks like it. Alright, let's go. Yep, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. I don't care. Shut up. I'm not listening. I'm not listening. No messages for you, Commander. Thank you very much, Kelly. Let's go back to Omega. Let's find these uh, these capacitors, shall we? Doc! Right, Garrus and Jacob, I feel like it's gotta be. Unless. No, we go Garrus. And what do you actually have? You have you got overload, which is good. We need that. Uh armor piercing ammo. Uh Paul I feel like could be useful. Uh I don't know, I like Kasumi. I feel like we'll, we'll go Kasumi for now. Oh, we can level up a little bit. Alright. No, we can't, because I need to get you. Alright, so disruptor, ammo rank three. Yep. Uh yep, alright, okay, that's good, that's good, that's good. Uh Wait, but choose. Right, so let's have a look now. We've got Vindicator Battle Rifle. Let's use it and let's see what happens. Katana Shotgun, Eviscerate Shotgun. I mean, let's, let's see what happens with these, you know. Hand Cannon, Arc Projector. We've got the, I, I like the Arc Projector. <laughs> I'm just going to keep it. Uh, you should have you. Vindicator Battle Rifle, Collector Assault Rifle. Let's, let's use them and see what happens, you know. Alright, let's go. Uh, I, I want to. I can't, I can't fire anything right now, but oh well. Oh, good stuff. Cool, good stuff. Alright. Uh, let's see if we can't find our way to some on, markets. Uh, please let me move on. Uh, let me have a look around and see if I can't find some. Wait, can we speak to Aria? If we go up. Can we, wait, what if I get a drink from this other place? Uh, can I speak to the bartender about anything? Yep, Shepard doing his, his, uh, his little walk again, because of course he is. Auto drink, why not? Yeah, he just doesn't speak. There you go. He didn't even take his helmet off. Sick. <laughs> Nod of respect, let's go. Walk away. <laughs> I just love me. I, lo I love that. I was, I was happy with that little edit I did before. Um, Anto, good evening. Afternoon, even. No! Right, I'll speak to him. Uh, do you know what? Right, okay. Before I go in there, let's let's go up here to, to Aria. Let's see. What have you got to say? Aria to Luke. You still sat here? What do you need? Oh, yeah. The data pad that we found when we were rescuing Garrus. Uh, uh, people are planning to take you out. This data pad was on one of the mercs that was after Archangel. They were coming for you next. Let me see. Interesting. Would someone like to tell me how this information slipped the net? I'll, I'll look into it. Thanks for the heads up, Shepard. Looks like I'll have to do a little cleaning in my organization. Alright. Uh, there we go. Let's go. Thanks. Maybe I'll come back later. You do that. Uh, plus 40 experience. Uh, all right. Is that it? There's no no more dialogue or anything. Grease. Aria has a job she needs doing. You up for some work? What's the job? That depends on what Aria has in mind. Aria's gotten word that some blood-packed mercs plan to kill an old acquaintance of hers, a Krogan named Patriarch. Okay. I'd like you to keep that from happening. All right. Why? Why is why people try to kill him? What's the blood pack's problem with Patriarch? If you've met Patriarch, you know. He can't keep his damn mouth shut. Some people don't appreciate his stories, especially when he dips into non-fiction. Okay, no, why protect him? What's Arya's interest in protecting him? Patriarch was one of her deadliest enemies back in the old days. Now she keeps what's left of him around as a trophy. As long as he lives, he's a perfect example of what happens when you go up against Arya. All right, then why ask me? Why come to me? Arya's usual muscle not up for the job? Because Arya said so. What other reason do you need? The real reason would be nice. People like Arya don't do things without a damn good reason. I want to hear it. Fine, but I didn't tell you this. Got me? All right. When it gets out that Arya's protecting Patriarch, well, that can look like a weakness. And 
some people might want to exploit that. You're not on a payroll, so you helping Patriarch just seems like a random act of kindness. Okay, no, all right, I'll do it. I'll look into it. Good. Patriarch's downstairs, likely surrounded by his fans. Get him into hiding until the mercs move on. Okay, no. Come back here when it's done, and you'll get your due. All right, let's go. I'll be back when the job is done. Good luck. Find the Patriarch. Right, before we do that, let's read some codex off, shall we? Because we have a few. Ships and vehicles, a Normandy weapon, or great Thanix left, cannon. Following the Battle of the Citadel, human and Turian volunteers what? conducted a massive three-month recovery effort to clear the station's orbit of debris. Secretly, the Turian Office of Technological Reconnaissance volunteers were technology recovery specialists salvaging the main weapon of the Geth flagship Sovereign and large amounts of its valuable Element Zero core. Didn't have a main weapon. popular belief, Sovereign's main gun was not a directed energy weapon. Rather, its massive Element Zero core powered an electromagnetic field suspending a liquid iron-uranium tungsten alloy that shaped into armor-piercing projectiles when fired. The jet of molten metal, accelerated to a fraction of the speed of light, destroys targets by impact force and irresistible heat. Okay, oh. Only 11 months after the battle, the Turians produced the Thanix, their own miniaturized version of Sovereign's gun. The Thanix can fire reliably every 15 seconds, rivaling a cruiser's firepower, but mountable on a fighter or frigate. Hell yeah, a fighter or frigate. Oh, yes. That's good. Rivaling a cruiser's firepower, but mine. But, so, like, a, cru a cruiser's guns can now be fitted in on a fighter or frigate. Okie doke. Uh, oh, well, no, I mean, uh, a, fight a fighter or frigate with a Thanix cannon can rival the firepower of a cruiser without the, fi uh, the, the Thanix cannon. I think is what they're going there. But obviously, that you got cruisers and dreadnoughts with Thanix cannons, those things are going to do damage. Um. Uh, Excuse me. <clears throat> right. What have we got then? So, technology. Argus Planet Scan Technology. The Argus provides a qualitative, a qualitative, a qualitative leap in planetary surface imaging. A proprietary technology of the Android, uh, of, of the Android group, an, uh, an R&D laboratory reportedly owned by Cerberus. This upgrade for Normandy's sensor array, sensory, sensory array, delivers superior long-range topographical, topographical scanning resolution and rendering speed. By deploying an orbital multi-static multi grid of 100 radar-emitting microsatellites, the Argus quickly uh, delivers a Global Digital Elevation Module DEM, at 15 meters per pixel (MPP) resolution. Uh, 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 15 uh, meters per pixel resolution, vastly outclassing the Normandy's previous scanner peak performance of 27 MPP. Such imaging quality provides superior defensive intelligence and at a speed warranted by the dangers of, co of combat. At slower scanning and rendering speed, the Argus can resolve down to an astonishing 0.001 MPP, 1 mm per pixel, ideal for geological and biological prospects, archaeological research, and long-term security surveillance. By employing such a massive multi-static grid of neatly untraceable micro-emitters, the resilient Argus is virtually invulnerable to electronic countermeasures. The spherical geometry of the Argus grid also allows superior cross-sectioning of targets. Okay, oh, so this thing is very good at scanning planets, and also it's good for uh, assessing combat. That's good. Biotech, biotech amps. No, 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 no. So we've got some more stuff down. No, we do not. More stuff. No, no, we have more codex stuff, so don't even go there. Are you, you going to make me do this? Are you going to make me go back in the video next episode and, and look at these? I had codex logs. What do you mean? Why... Technology, uh, ship technology, ships and vehicles, gunship. No. Come on, where are you? What are you doing? No publication. No. All right. Okay. Fine. I know I had loads of loads of comments on that. Wait. Uh, squad two. Yep. No. 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 All right. Okay. So I've just got two to level up here. All right. Hang on. All right. We're back. Uh, find the patriarch. He'll be downstairs. Not in here, apparently. Private room is locked. Okay, no. Uh, let's have a look. So, to the lower level. Are the, are the market market's gonna be in here? Unicom, Apex, Omni Tools. Okay, no. Let's go. Whoa. Helena Blake. Hello, Helena Blake. I remember you. Commander Shepard, is that you? I, I'd heard you were dead. I was. I'm Helena Blake, 
We met a few years ago. I don't expect you to remember. I do remember. You removed two criminal warlords from power and persuaded me to retire. I'll never forget it. Uh, why are you here? What brings you to Omega? What brings anyone to Omega? Opportunity, success, failure, all of the above. Have you started up your criminal enterprise again? Suits me. I can bring it a certain air of civility, I suppose. Okay, yo, uh, I did tell you to straighten up. And now you're on Omega. Once a criminal, always a criminal, eh? Oh no, Commander. I retired. I know better than to go back on my word with you. You convinced me to turn my life around. I'm a social worker now, believe it or not. On Omega? That seems like a hopeless job in a place like this. Quite the opposite, actually. This place needs it more than most. Fair Doing enough. Doing good work in a place like this requires that one understand how things truly work. Which makes me uniquely qualified. Okay, uh, good to wear. Well, I'm glad to hear you're keeping out of trouble. Thank you. This is all to your credit, Commander. Not all of it. Have a splintful day. I have to go. Of course. You must have more important things to do. Yes, but again, if you do need help with anything, do let me know, and I can only... The worst that I can say is no. Oh. Okay, yeah, that's just that's just repeating the uh, stuff we've heard from the Citadel news before. We've got after... Wait, it's just... Wait, isn't this... Wait. No, that's just... Wait, before that. Before that, I can talk to you? Hello? I'm not ordering a drink. No, nope, walk away. <laughs> Alright. Uh, dancer... I'm not going to say a watch, we need to find... Where is this guy? Wait, is he down here? No, we went down here, didn't we? Door open. No, we did not go down here, alright. So it's going to be down here, we've got Vortra. Alright, Batarians just chilling about. And then here is going to be where the enemies start, isn't it? No, not yet. Okay. Talk to get. Wait, Junk, talk to Garrus. Walking around in this place makes me sick. People still dying. The strong still exploiting the weak. Nothing I did here even made a dent in this. Okay, oh, well, it will. It will. Let's go. Uh, Shisk talk. Okay. Leave, human. Tell Captain Gabor we not kill anyone today. Who's that? I don't know a Captain Gabor. Why would I tell him anything? Not trust you. Tell Gabon we know his tricks. We not kill anyone today. How many of you? Uh, how many of the Vortra are down here? There seem to be a lot of Vortra on Omega. <sighs> Go away. Talk too much. Gabon's thugs get no more. We leave. Okay. Good talking to you. No more talk. We know Gabon's tricks. We leave. Okay. All right. What, what tricks are these? I guess we can just go past now. You all right, Chief? Uh, wait, Alec, wait, we've talked to Kasumi. I like the city of towns. They're prettier. They value their life. They don't have god off and neon everywhere, like Ilium or the Citadel. Yeah. Just the light of people living, moving from place to place. Just enough to know people live there. Okay, all right. Uh, we've got amps. Can we get anything from here? We cannot, it would seem. All right, uh... It would seem that we're in the market area. We've got VIP only. Bouncer, hello, sir. What do you want? What's about that? What's behind this door? VIP section of the club. For those with the right name. Do you want something? I need to get in. I'd like to join the party. This really isn't your kind of place. Afterlife's main floor has lots of drinks and great music. Okay. All right. See us. Let's proceed. We need to find these couplings, don't we? You are... S what, are what are you? Uh, Zaralos. Is that right? Omega Market. Marsh! Can I get the couplings from here? I might have something here for you. Not much. Uh, what do you sell? What have you got in stock? Something of everything. A lot of merchandise comes through this station, and I snatch up the best of it. Okay, dope. Alright. Uh, what do you... Uh, I'm not gonna... To anything explosive here. I'll be going. Let's go. You'll be back. I know. Omega Market. Stimulator conduits. 
incorporates a series of beryllium and tungsten braces and micro servos to support and enhance the natural movements of the wearer for short periods of time. Originally developed by the CERT Foundation for Research and Rescue Personnel, it has been adapted for military use. Increased storm speed by 10%. Hell yeah. And we've got Module Touring Cruiser. I guess I can get that. Uh, sniper Rifle Damage. Weapon Upgrade increases damage by plus 20%. Improves Sniper Rifles for your entire squad. This upgrade improves the weapon's mass effect field generator, increasing the mass and acceleration acceleration of each slug fired. Scram Pulsar, yes. Fornax, titulating alien magazine. Um, I might as well, I guess. Capacitor helmet, a recent design. This alliance made helmet stores microcapacitors in its structure to replenish spent kinetic barriers. The transparent blast armor panel on its top can be removed to access capacitors for field maintenance. Reduces the delay before shields start regenerating by 10%. I might as well buy it, but I don't think I'll use it. Blood Dragon Armor. I do not have credits for that. Originally created for Earth's Urban Combat Championship League, this set of armor has undergone as much, of mo as, much a more, as much or more field testing than those of modern militaries. It uses a unique proprietary power cell that costs as much as U EUCC Rookie's contract. The I don't know who that is. The armor's microframe computer adapts to any top-tier Omnitool, Kinetic Barrier, or Biotic Amp, giving breathtaking and error-free performance. The chest and shoulder piece bears the logo of the Edmonton Blood Dragons, and the inside of the armor bears the signatures of the entire team. When and how the elusive man got his hands on the armor is unknown, but several of the signatures bear messages such as Expletative, The Geth, and Shepard will uh, Shepherd get well soon. Okay, oh. Uh, okay, alright, nice. Omega Market, I don't... We've got four on axe. Alright, we've got uh, weapons, mass accelerators, yep, alright, what else, what else are we looking at here, scram pulsar, come on, are we not going to get anything, uh, Omega Mark purchased, yep, are we not going to get anything from the, uh, received Fornax, okay, excuse me, but are we not going to get anything, come on, where, where are these, no, we did, it was a sniper upgrade, wasn't it, stimulated converts, no, we need the, we need the things. Harrods Emporium. All right, Harrods. Tentatively excited. Welcome, human. What can I get for you? What do you have? What kinds of things do you sell here? Friendly, salvaged parts. All kinds. Mostly legitimate. Okay. Nope. With pride, my prices are the lowest anywhere on the station. You won't find salvage cheaper than mine. Okay. Nope. I have things to do. Courteously. Have a fine day. Take a look at my kiosk if you want to buy anything. Yeah, man, let's do it. Let's have a look. So, we've got a visor. I need to see if... Right. I need to... Right, before I buy any of this, I need to make sure... I need to see if I can find the gosh darn... Uh... Uh, Mad Prophet. Okay, alright. Alright, but I need to see if I can't find... No, access denied. Can I speak to you, gentlemen? Nope, apparently not. I need, to be, I need to see if I can't find these capacitors. Uh, God damn it, right, come on. It's gotta be here somewhere. Where Where are we looking? Where are we going? Are we going here? Got me more markets this way. No, God damn it. Right, what if I go in here? Lower section. Apartments and marketplace. God damn it. No, but there's gotta be. There's gotta be, there's gotta be somewhere. Ken Savage, okay, oh, uh, there we go, Nashans Stellar Dynamics T6 FBA couplings, a pristine set of discontinued T6 FBA couplings used to monitor mass effect fields aboard starships, yes, let's go, thanks, Chief Geth Plasma Shotgun, oh my goodness, I don't have any of this stuff, so I need to grind some credits, clearly, deliver couplings, return to the engineers, Ken, are you a Korean? Hello. Hello there. Might I interest you in some salvage tech? You already Every did. Credit goes toward a ticket to get me off this forsaken rock. All right. Uh, uh, good for you. That sounds like a good cause. How's that going? Not very well. No one will buy anything at the prices Herod forces me to ask for them. Okay, don't. All right. Uh, why are you here? What brought a nice kid like you to Omega? My pilgrimage. What money I had got stolen within a few days, so I decided to sell salvage parts. You can see how that turned out. Carrot's forcing me to sell high, and I can't even afford a ticket off this station. All right, I could pay you away. How much do you need to get off Omega? I still need 1,000 credits to pay my way, but I couldn't let you do that. Of course you can. This is my mistake on my pilgrimage. It's my problem. Uh, it's a thousand credits, mate. Come on. Here you go. A thousand credits. Here you go. Get out of here. You can do your pilgrimage anyway. Thank you. 
With this, I can finally continue on my pilgrimage. I'm going to buy my ticket right now. Thank you again. No worries, mate. Let's go. Uh, Return to the engineer. It's good stuff. Plus 40 experience. Yeah, mate. Plus 5 paragon. Uh, yep, we got that. Good stuff. Deliver, deliver to the normal depending. All right, we can always come back here and buy some more upgrades and stuff. But for the time being, I think I might just save up a bunch of credits before I do anything else with that. Uh, let's go. We've got the codex logs to read. We've got publications. Nope. Fornax. Launched in 2167, Fornax magazine described itself as the galaxy's finest xenophilia. By its fifth year, Fornax became the first human magazine to offer full, full five sensory stimulation, a previously unaffordable magazine technology made profitable by the eco economy of scale. With a monthly publishing run of 127 million available in both uh, in both in hard copy and direct download, Fornax offers a range of alien models with particular emphasis on the unisexual Asari, although both genders of Quarians, Drell, Drell, what are they? Uh, but, uh, Batarians and Bolas are regularly depicted. Special uh, specialty editions such as uh, Genit Elcor and Krogasm service uh, uh, service devoted but smaller markets. I don't know what the last part means, but okay, sure. I don't know if that's going to end up in Kasimi's library, but oh well. Ships and vehicles. Nope. Let's have a look. Where, where, where are we off to? Come on. Give us something. It was something to read. Weapons, mass accelerators. Mass accelerators propel solid metal slugs via electromagnetic attraction and repulsion. A slug lightened by a mass effect field can be accelerated to extremely high speeds, permitting previously unattainable projectile, projectile velocities. The primary determinant of a mass accelerator's destructive power is length. The longer the barrel, the longer the slug can be, the slug can be accelerated. The higher the slug's final velocity and therefore the greater its kinetic impact. Slugs are designed to squash or shatter on impact, increasing the energy they transfer to its target. Without collapsibility, slugs would punch through their targets while inflicting only minimal damage. Rather than being mounted on the exterior, uh, so like I do find that interesting, by the way, that the that the damage, the damage, uh, the damage and lethality of guns in today's world is considered minimal damage by Mass Effect standards. Like wow, like you gotta think, me, like now these bullets must bloody kill, you know. Without collapsibility, slugs would punch through their targets while inflicting only minimal damage. Rather than being mounted on the exterior, starship guns are housed inside holes and visible only as gun portholes from outside. Okay, nope. That's not what you've shown us ever in Mass Effect, but sure if you say so, mate. That's what I hate about the Codex logs in this game. It's like they're essentially... Oh, uh, well, I don't know if... It's not the Codex logs' fault. It's the, it's the cutscenes. It's like, well, mate, depict what you tell us in the, the, the Codex logs. Don't tell me one thing and show me another. Right, a ship's oh, a ship's main gun is a large spinal mount weapon running 90% of the hull's length. Okay, no. uh, uh, starship guns are okay. Right, a ship's main gun is a large spinal mount weapon running 90% of the hull's length. That's also not true. That's not something we've ever seen either. Besides dreadnoughts in Mass Effect 3, but that's it. Uh, and it's not even it's not even like a massive spinal mount weapon either. It's just a big cannon on the gun. Uh, 90% uh, of the hull's length, while possessing destructive power equal to that of tactical nuclear weapons. Main guns are difficult to aim. Well, no, they possess much more than that, but, you know, uh, at least three nukes, but anyway. Main guns are difficult to aim. Uh, because ships must be able to point their bows almost directly at their targets, main guns are best used for long-range bombardment fire. Approximately 40% of the hull's width broadcast, uh, broadside guns inflict less damage and can be mounted with greater numbers and more flexibility. The modern human Kilimanjaro-class dreadnoughts mount three decks with 26 broadside accelerators apiece for a total salvo weight of 78 plug slugs, uh, slugs per side, firing once every two seconds. All right. Uh, however, mass accelerators produce recoil equal to their impact energy. While the mass effect fields suspending the rounds mitigate the recoil, recoil shock can uh, still rattle crews and damage systems. Uh, all right. Hmm. Yep. All right, makes sense. Let's go. Squabs. We still can't get anything with you. Well, we can, but nothing that I've I don't want to upgrade just yet. Let's go back to the Normandy. Oh, actually, no way. I just re wait. Go on. Go on. Hello. So, I heard a human went into the plague zone. Then I found out about a lot of dead Vorcha down there. You did, yes. You know anything about this? Nah. Dead fortune? No. Don't know anything about that. Uh-huh. Right. Well, 
My job just got a whole lot easier. All right, what is it that you do? What's your job here exactly? I'm supposed to keep the Vorcha in line, keep them out of Arya's sight. That's about it. Not much for me to do anymore. But the way those Vorcha breed, I'll have something to do soon enough. All right, okay, what are the Vorcha up to? There's an awful lot of Vorcha here. What are they planning? Vorcha? Plan? <laughs> They're a pestilence, nothing more. If they started planning, we'd all be in big trouble. Okay, no. all right, see you. I'll just be going. Keep up the good work. Always plus two paragon. Where is this? We need to find this. We need to find this guy. Where, where is he? But nope, nope, nope. The patriarch. Arya's old Krogan advisor, the patriarch, is in danger from thugs trying to make a name for themselves. Arya wants the patriarch moved someplace safe until the threat is gone. Find the patriarch. Find the patriarch in one of the side rooms downstairs at Afterlife and tell him he needs to hide. Okie doke, let's go. Wait, 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 what was that? That's not advisable. Okay, no. I was gonna say, I was gonna say um, he, he's gonna d offer him like under credits to uh, um, let him in. All right, we're going down here to the lower levels. Unicorn. Uh, do you know anything about a a patriarch? Hello again. Captain. Probably not the best question to ask. Uh, yeah, let's go. All right, one of the side rooms. I guess I just missed like one room somewhere. Uh, Okay, no. So we're not going through here. No, that's just here. I'm just on the other side of here. Wait, patron. No, I'm not dancing here. No, thank you. Wait, no, this is a different place. This is a different place, isn't it? Okay, no, right. Yeah, this is a different place. So what if we go in here? Patriarch, here we go. No, you said he had close family. He'll just want revenge. Kill the family first, then. You'll get angry and come at you stupid. And then you kill him. Okay, but who's going to be, like, stronger, the family or him? I'm the Patriarch. Arya's Patriarch. What do you want? Uh, what do you know about Arya? How do you know her? What do you know about Arya? Uh, a few centuries ago, Omega was my rock. When Arya arrived, she had nothing but the clothes on her back. I thought she was another dancer. <laughs> she killed half my men and convinced the rest that she could run this place better than I did. Okay, do. She came for me here in this bar. We tore this place apart. She crushed one of my hearts, shattered half the bones of my body, and left me alive. Well, why is that? What made her decide to leave you alive? She doesn't destroy what she can use. She said I could have all my old comforts if I served as her advisor. Oh, I knew yep. how things worked. I knew who to lean on, who to smack down, who to smile at. And everyone who respected me saw me beaten, broken. They knew that as strong as I'd been, she was stronger. Oh, nope. Yep. No any enemies? Rumor has it some people want you dead. Know anything about that? Well, I can think of a few. I know things. Old secrets, old grudges. A few floors you can dig up to find bodies underneath. Okay, nope. Someone who wanted to weaken Arya might come after me. All right. They do it to get to her, you see. Not for me. I don't matter enough anymore to have enemies of my own. All right. Why are you called the Patriarch? Why do they call you Patriarch? It's like an Asari matriarch, only male. It was Arya's little joke. After she took me down, she let me live. All right. She kept me around as an advisor, as a trophy. Fair enough. So you sound very, very old. How many wars you been in? A Krogan as old as you must have some great stories. I killed a lot of people, lived well. Was beaten by a small Asari who keeps me around as an example. My time is done. 
Anyone I killed is long forgotten. The stories are ours now. Okay. Yo. Well, you uh, are not quite finished. You have to get out of here and go someplace. Go, uh, go hide because people are after you. Some people want you dead. I've been asked to move you to safety. Well, of course. Arya wouldn't want me hurt. It would make her look bad. Yeah. All right. What was that for? Arya's reputation is no longer my concern. Perhaps I will stay. See who thinks me important enough to kill. Or we can get you to safety. Here's an idea. Let me handle the assassins for you. And so your name grows, while I remain an old man who lets others fight his battle. You're still the patriot. No. You remain a powerful warlord with forces at his command. Not just Arya's trophy. Well, you could... You could be my Trent. Fighting for my honor. If you would do this for me, I would be grateful. I might even be a Krogan again. You still are, mate, but yeah, let's do it. Find thugs. Find the thugs in or near afterlife and kill them on behalf of the Patriarch. Okie doke. So, I'm sure that these guys won't be far. Either force the Patriarch to go into hiding or find another way to deal with the threat from the Okie doke. Alright, plus two Paragon option. Alright, let's do it. Let's see where these guys. Any idea where we start? Uh, kill them on House of Patriot, right? Because the last just there, alright? Uh, on, or, whoa. Look for someone? Out of our way, human. You here for Patriarch? What if we are? You gonna do something about it? I am here to stop you. Patriarch sent us. Said to do whatever it takes. Your Patriarch's craft? I wasn't aware the old man had one. You should have done your homework. I mean, that's one way to take care of him. Yeah, mate. Are you okay, Garrus, by the way? I kind of dodged that flamethrower. <laughs> Alright. Uh, tell the other folks have been dealt with. Okie doke. Alright, that wasn't quite how I expected that to go. I was surprised that you had that kind of movement in its armor, but uh, sure, let's go. Uh, Krant. Uh, Krant. Patriarch. It's done. Kill them all. Everyone knows that the Patriarch is not to be crossed. Honestly, I literally didn't even do anything. Next to you, Arya may think of me as more than a trophy. A real advisor, maybe. Or even a threat. Don't waste it. Use this. Don't ever let anyone think you're weak again. Thanks to you, I am a Krogan. You always were, mate. Be careful with Arya. She will approve. Done, I think. But not of you altering the balance of Omega. I think it reminds her too much of herself. Oh, I'm sure she'll be fine. Speak to Grease. Find Grease on the afterlife main floor and tell him what happened to the Patriot. Alright, let's do it. Plus two Renegade. Oh no. Plus five Paragon. That's more like it. Grease! I am back. Arya wants to speak with you. She heard you took on the Blood Pack assassin yourself. Of course I did, Arya Talok. Word has it that Patriarch's Krant took out the men set here to kill him. Yes. Funny, I didn't know he had a Krant. Uh, he's stronger than you knew. Patriarch has more influence than you thought. I see. Well, maybe I should watch my back then. I think you, I would have it's expected you I already asked, would. But you got the job done. Yep, of course I did. Anything else? You've done a lot for me, Shepard. Let me return the favor. Nope. We're sending your coordinates to a cache on an uncharted world. You want it? It's yours. Much appreciated. We can use any help we can get. Whatever you find is yours to deal with. Okay, nope. All right. Uh, what's uh, what's the deal with you and Patriarch? Sounds like you and Patriarch have a history. Our history is Omega's history. Long, bloody, and always ending in my favor. The details are complicated. All right. When I arrived, Omega was lawless, a land of opportunity. I built alliances and destroyed the fools who wouldn't get in line, which was most of them. But Patriarch was something different. A powerful friend. You weren't enemies? I'm surprised you were ever anything but rivals. We were allies for a hundred years. I suppose he decided that was long enough. Wasn't a surprise when he turned. He controlled the muscle. My people contributed more subtle action. Espionage, politics, assassination. 
Fortunately for me, his men had become accustomed to certain benefits of working with Asari. All right. Uh, what do you mean? Superior intel? Assassination? That's cute. No, I took advantage of certain skills my people try to downplay. And what was that? Patriarch's men abandoned him in droves. In the end, we fought face to face on this very spot. All right. Toughest fight of my life. But of course I won. And why'd you call him Patriarch? Patriarch doesn't sound like something an Asari would come up with. I found it humorous. He wanted power. And we pretended he had it with a word that doesn't exist for my people. I eventually found a certain respect for the title and the man. And why'd you keep him alive? So you kept him around as a trophy? I did. A trophy and an example. Whenever someone thought about taking me on, I pointed them to Patriarch. Dignity is one of the few commodities not available on Omega. Okie doke. Uh, that's about, it's about time for me to leave. Interesting, but let's move on. Do you need something else? I do not, thank you very much. Thanks, maybe I'll come back later. Have Why a respectful nice day. Um, I could do that, but ultimately I've got somewhere to be. Ando? Nope. Okay, we've got 3,000 credits, let's go. Uh, let's go back to the nominee. Engineer Donnelly. You're the best, Commander. Yeah, there you we go. just got those FBA couplings installed. Now we only have to calibrate every week instead of every day. All right, good stuff. We're thinking about celebrating our newfound free time with some skilly and five poker. Want to join us? Come on. Kid. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm sorry, I can't do that, mate. Want to play cards with grease monkeys like us? Uh, have fun. You guys enjoy yourselves. We will. Thanks again, yeah. Commander. Uh, we've got things to do. However, as of right now, that's about all the time I've got for today. I hope you guys have had as much fun as I did. If there are any games you'd like to see me play, feel free to suggest them down in the comments, and I'll, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Have a splendid day!